Yes, my peoples, it's T, and yes, I am back for the Apprentice final. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is episode 12, the final of Apprentice. If I'm being completely honest, the final of Apprentice is, for me, is one of the my least favourite episodes. It's not usually that exciting, and I'm going to be honest, spoiler alert, this one wasn't that exciting also, if I'm being honest. But... I'm going to get into it and break it down and give you my thoughts and my reaction on how I believe the episode went. So without further ado, let's get it. So, um, yeah, long story short, long story short, um, they started off at the old Royal Naval College. Now, yeah, someplace in London. That's not that's not even important or relevant right now. But essentially, as usual with the final, they have to basically take their existing idea, create a new brand for it, um, and create a digital billboard as well in relation to advertising. Now, and then after that, they have to pitch that to the industry experts as well as Lord Alan Sugar, and then he will decide. So, as usual, we have old faces that come back into the process. And as I mentioned last week, Depending on who you choose, will sometimes depend on how well you, you perform. But I haven't really seen anybody really do really, really badly in a, a final. It's almost like it's a bit fixed. But yes, um, Phil, um, he chose Paul, Verdi, Felucia, and Raj. And at the time of watching it, I was like, who is this ever person on the team? Like, who is this guy? I don't, I don't, I don't remember this person, um, and apparently he's one of Phil's competitors. So I was like, who's this guy? But then I was like, oh yes, it is Paul the Pie Man. Completely ex com forgot about him. Forgot he existed. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> and then in the other team, Rachel, Trey, Mora, <clears throat> um, and somebody else. I can't remember, but and also Steve. I I'm surprised they 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 actually picked Steve last I, I, I thought steve was quite decent throughout the process so they chose steve last um so yeah paul's idea he was thinking about you know having an online presence um to be fair i wonder how personally i wonder how that will work delivering pies um through the post um how would that work in terms of freshness and making sure that they stay together and not break up in the post so it's interesting unless they're going to be hand delivered um fresh out fresh out the oven interesting one um and then <clears throat> Rachel, um, yeah, her idea, there's nothing really to add, it's just a gym, essentially. Um, and she chose Sam as the sub team leader. I think that's a good idea, as um, Sam is a, a fitness woman as well. And then on the other team, Phil chose Verdi as his sub team leader. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, Paul is risking it, Paul is risking it. Um, like Verdi, had, like, was he not involved in the process? In the last few weeks, Verdi, Verdi and him were, were were two of the poorest candidates I've ever seen in the lifetime of Apprentice. <laughs> um, and when they was creating the billboard, Verdi and Raj phew, talking over each other was comedic, comedic. Honestly, I would not trust them at all. Now, moving on swiftly to the logos. <clears throat> Phil's logo, basic AF. <laughs> Seriously, basic, basic, basic. It's the opposite of prestige. He wanted everything prestige and, pre and premium, but it was complete opposite. It was just basic. It looked like somebody got some some cartoon clip art from Microsoft Word in 1998, um, and yeah, just put it onto a, a, a white page with some with some with some Comic Sans text. Like it just looked so basic. Don't know what that was about, but um, and then Rachel, I don't think her logo is any better either. Um, she wanted a yet yeah, another black and white logo with which Lord Sugar has already pulled her up on, on the blandness of her branding and it being quite similar to others in her field. So I'm not sure what she was thinking there. But luckily, Maura did call them out and say, let's add some colour, even though the colour suggestions from Maura were really, really poor. Um, so they did add some colour in the end. Um, so that's the branding for now. Um, for that team, back to Phil's team, Raj and Verdi, calamitous, calamitous shooting the video. Like I said, I don't know why Phil trusted them to shoot this video, but fair enough. Um, and then the other team, Sam, looks completely different without her glasses. I was like, did they hire an actor to, to play in this video, in, in this billboard? But it was Sam. Sam looks completely different without her glasses. It's like literally different person entirely. Superman, can't claim. 
Clark Kent, Superman. Like, what's that about? Anyway, um, but their video looked pretty good, um, in my opinion. Um, I'm intrigued to see how it actually turns out in the end. But actually, I still do not get Rachel's actual unique selling point. What is a USP? I don't get it. Like, the Metaverse, her studio looks really good, but it looks like a hybrid of Pure Dream and JD Gyms. It just looks like the same as in any other modern gym. What's unique about her business, I don't understand. <clears throat> and moving back onto Phil's online pie delivery service. Um, yeah, again, <sighs> delivery of pies. Who's really going to order a pie? Ain't pie supposed to be hot? Ain't pie supposed to be warm? And they're meant to be fresh. Who's going to actually deliver? Like, I don't get it. And we all know that delivery services don't really make a lot of money, not normally because it costs a lot of money to get things delivered. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. But Felucia was definitely giving Phil some good suggestions as well in relation to um, his his um, package and design. Um, but let's see how that ultimately turns out as well. Um, and then the final design, the final outcome of Rachel's logo. Honestly, I cannot tell what her logo is about. Like, what company is it? Studio, like, I, stu what, like, what, what, a studio build? What does that mean? Like, if I saw that, if I saw that with no context, I'd be like, is this about, is this, is this a builder's merchant or is this a recording studio? Like, what is it? There's nothing in there that spells, you know, that shows gym, I can be honest, or fitness. Even the water drop, what, what is that? Is that sweat? Is like, yeah. So right now, for me, it's looking like Phil is the slightly stronger team as I, as I predicted last week. Um, but yeah. I did like the the billboard though. Rachel's billboard did look good from what I saw in the little clip. It looked, yeah, Trey and and Cole and Steve and Sam done done well there in my opinion. Um, but Phil's billboard, yeah, amateur, amateur. But what do you expect when when Verdi is is a director? It's it's just, it's just really poor. Like didn't even show the pie really. It just showed some house and some words, and it's not really engaging. Like at least show the pie. I don't know. Show something. It's a, it's, a, it's like a. 20 second clip <laughs> and then when it was revealed Flo made a very good point Flo made a very good point about um about why was Sam wearing um kind of this brightly coloured non-premium looking gym outfit I can tell Sam didn't like that at all but I think it's a good point to be fair from Flo like if you're talking about premium gyms you want to be showing that you're wearing premium high end high end um stuff as well so Interesting. Um, and then the reveal for Phil's side, Verdi gave good honest feedback, in my opinion, um, surprisingly, um, on Phil's packaging, saying it doesn't look prestigious and very cartoony. Agreed. Um, agreed entirely with that. Um, yeah. But going back to Rachel's gym, it's just, it looks like any other gym. I just don't get it. And then there's a, a lot, for me, there was a bit of a laugh at that moment when Phil was practicing his his speech, his pitch, um, the way how Phil speaks, honestly, not engaging at all. Like when he's pitching, the practice didn't sound good to me, but to be fair, I haven't really seen anyone flop in the final when it comes to the actual pitch. So obviously pressure makes diamonds and all of that. So let's see, let's see what happens in the end. Um, and as expected, the, the, the feedback that we got from both teams, um, Phil's feedback wasn't great in terms of the, the cartoon logo, but overall it wasn't too bad. Rachel, as expected, again, as I mentioned, very poor logo. Doesn't tell you what the business is. Um, so she got some really poor feedback, which is all valid in my opinion. And now moving on to the pitches. Moving on to the pitches. So Phil has already come dressed as a mini Alan Lord, Lord, Lord Alan Sugar. Um, so it's like he's, he's trying to set it up for him to win as well because he's coming wearing the same outfit as Alan Sugar. Black black bow tie and a, and, a, and a suit. Maybe it was a bow tie event. I don't know, but I, I didn't see everybody wearing the exact same outfit as, as Lord Sugar. But he started with a very soft story as usual, trying to you know wheel people in emotionally and about the history of the business, which I think was good. And in general, I think his pitch was actually pretty decent. Um, you know, he showed a number of things. He answered the questions fairly well. Um, he showed some finances, all of this stuff, and yeah, I, I think he pitched. He pitched pretty well, which was which was surprising um, because. Yeah, surprising, but at the same time, like I said, I haven't really seen, in the history of, of Apprentice, I haven't seen a candidate really flop or fail at that final hurdle if they get there, no matter how poor they have been previously. Um, 
and then in the wash up with the experts the experts did say that phil phil is being a bit too ambitious with his um vision of getting that 10 percent um of his online business to become 50 percent um it's better to you know expand in bricks as opposed to expanding online um so interesting let's see what happens then rachel her pitch surprisingly she some she actually stumbled a little bit just a little bit i don't know if the editing helps her a little bit more as well because maybe she, i feel like she may have stumbled more than that but she stumbled a little tiny bit um and i can see her reading directly from her notes which um which i'm not really personally a fan of um and definitely less le looked less polished than phil's pitch for certain but she answered the questions fairly okay um, the question from Barry, the Barry's guy, the co-owner, was very pertinent. What what makes her business unique? Like, really? I've been saying this all episode. She didn't touch on financials too much either. So, yeah, not too sure. And then in the post, same thing that I've been saying. There's nothing new in her idea. But I guess in the north of the country, she does have an opportunity to kind of try to take the lead there, I guess. As she's already, you know, quite... Are profitable in one of her businesses or one of her branches um so based on all of that so far my opinion is that so far it's looking like phil maybe in the lead um phil looking like the better candidate or the better business so far in this final um phil actually has a business that's been that's established been going for many many years um so i guess it makes sense um yeah, but onto the boardroom, onto the boardroom. So Verdi, yeah, Verdi, what is wrong with this guy? This this man said Raj, Raj is older. You cannot mention that to a woman. So yeah, we chose Raj because she's older. She could be the mother. Like you can't talk like that to a woman no matter how old she is. You got to be a little, a little tactful with it, a little bit, you know, a little bit respectful with it, a little bit playful. But yeah, um, <laughs> and laugh out loud at Lord Adam Sugar making them Arsenal jokes about about trophy. To be fair, he doesn't have a leg to stand on because I think he's a Spurs fan. Um, they're even worse, but Arsenal, same thing. Talking about you know they haven't had trophies for a while. I love that. Love that from Lord Alan Sugar. And yo, listen. When Phil said there's more to business than making profit, Alan Sugar shot him down instantly. He was straight up. He's like, he's like, listen, cut the crap. We're all here to make money. What kind of statement is that? And I, I, it's true. Like business, literally. Most businesses, I don't think I've ever heard of a business that has been created or that exists that is not there to make a profit or make money. <laughs> it like, it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. So I don't know what Phil's angle, angle Phil was trying to, to pull there. But so my summary and my wrap up is based on the boardroom so far, I feel like Alan Sugar is leaning towards Phil because he keeps going to him and asking him questions and saying stuff to him. So I'll be kind of shocked if Rachel does win. But, however, Rachel did sell herself quite well, to be fair, when she did get a chance to speak because she mentioned that, Alan Sugar, you will not be only investing in, in, in my business, but you'll be invest investing in me. And that is a very good point, in my opinion, because um, I think she's a better businesswoman um, than Phil. Well, of course, because Phil's not a woman, but you know what I mean? I think she's a better business person than Phil because I feel like, she, I think, I feel like she's more amenable. She's more in touch, in tune. She's more, you know, she'll more take note and listen and mentorship and adapt. Whereas Phil seems it's very old, old school, stuck in his ways and it's very just like blinkered in what he wants to do, um, in my opinion. So, um, and another reason why I think Phil may be in the lead is because Alan Sugar actually admitted as well he said i'm very interested in this pie business because it's something different whereas gyms are just same gyms um so based on that it's looking like to me phil may have the edge but rachel may have said herself based on what she said there which is a good point you're not just investing in me you're invest not investing in my business you're investing in me as well and she also has a business that is actually making profit and money whereas phil is i'm not sure if his one is making profit um per se all the time whereas yeah so on to the results, on to the results. So, who won the final of Apprentice 2024 Series 18? And the winner is... It is Rachel. So, Rachel was the winner in the end, which for me was a little bit of a shock, to be fair. It was a little bit of a shock because it looked like everything was set up perfectly for Phil to win it. Um, and that's why I predicted last week also. But after the summary, 
after the summary and the way how Rachel spoke, I can see why, and the way how he spoke about Rachel too, I can see why he chose Rachel in the end because she's actually making money and she seems like an amenable person. So she can, you know, like he can mentor her and coach her to be a better business person and actually take it forward. There's growth there. There's movement there. Whereas as Alan Sugar mentioned about Phil, there doesn't look like there's any opportunity for growth. It looks like a, just a dead end, if that makes sense, despite being a slightly interesting or intriguing business. Um, and also Phil as a person as well. Like as Alan Sugar said, I have a, I have a feeling, I just have a feeling. And I think what he meant by that, he has a feeling that Phil is not the one to go into business with and Rachel is. Um, in terms of the individual people, the person, not their businesses per se. So it makes sense. But honestly, Apprentice, this, this final was underwhelming. Um, there was nothing exciting in this. And um, yeah, listen, hit me in the comments about, you know, who you thought should have won, who you feel deserved it, why, whatever. Hit me in the comments about all of this stuff. But um, yeah, one thing I do want to end this, this video on is thank you for staying with me. Um, if you have stayed with me to the end of this video and thank you for staying with me throughout this entire apprentice series um as i mentioned before this is probably my last video on youtube so i will probably say goodbye to everybody now however who knows what the future holds i could be back some new vigor may come in or the next apprentice series who knows i may be back but for now this is goodbye it's been emotional thank you very much take care all the best peace Thank <laughs> you.